So today we are um, wanting to talk to you a bit about our Kiwa and Pacifica Network, uh, Maori and Pacifica Network Kiwa um, at KPMG, which is a awesome um, group at KPMG, basically um, really supportive of the uh, Maori and Pacifica culture and just making sure that we're integrating, integrating it and celebrating it everywhere we can. Um, so yeah, um, basically we refer to our KPMG family as our whānau, um, which is one of the amazing things in terms of integrating the, um, the Māori language into our everyday use. Um, so just to um, introduce myself, I am Tina. I am one of the team members that supports the grad team at KPMG. Um, Emma and Lanier, who are the leaders at grad, um, grad, the grad team at KPMG are actually at um, grad camp, which is one of the exciting things to look forward to when you join as a grad um, with us. So a bit on that later on. Um, but basically, we just want to let you know that our applications are opening up in July um, of this year. So the interns will be starting um, at the end of this year, and then graduates will be starting um, in March next year. Um, and one of the cool things about our uh, KPMG firm is the fact that a lot of people do think that we are kind of more of an audit or a tax based firm, but we actually have so many other areas that we um, hire in. So we have our technology and sustainability roles. Um, we have our lighthouse area, which is basically all about data and analytics. Um, and we're always growing. So I think that's the really exciting thing about working at KPMG is um, just really feeling like you can try a lot of different things and just really have that um, control over your career in terms of just having the opportunities. Um, and yeah, one of the main things that we basically look for when it comes to our grads is um, basically just the idea that somebody really can be the authentic self at work and just truly bring themselves. Um, so we really love to see you shine and your personality shine and just, you know, your personal part to you because that's really what um, what we celebrate. And that's one of the things that I really love, um, particularly working about uh, working at KPMG is something that I've noticed is that's something that um, that everybody celebrates across the board. So, so yeah, that's us in a nutshell. We also have um, seven offices in New Zealand. Um, so that's across the North and South Island. So again, that's awesome because um, just gives you all the opportunities in terms of um, different locations to be able to work from. Um, so yeah, so that is us. Um, so I will basically hand it over to um, Crystal. Or Esther. Mm -hmm. Oh, Talofa, uh, everyone. My name is Crystal P. Hummer, and I come from Samoa. That's my monga in the background there, Mount Fire. Uh, I'm an associate director in the insolvencies team, um, which is part of the deal advisory division of KPMG. Um, and I've worked at KPMG for about five years now. Um, I currently co chair um, a steering a steering committee for our internal KPMG Māori and Pacifica staff members and our internal network is called Kiwa. Um, our name Kiwa um, originates from the, uh, the, 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 the name uh, Te Moana Nui a Kiwa, which is the Pacific Ocean in Te Reo Māori. Um, Kiwa used to be called Te Ropu Kaitiaki, but um, as our ropu grew, uh, not just in numbers, but in diversity, and as more Pacifica joined our, um, our um, firm, uh, we decided that it was probably more appropriate that we, that we um, called ourselves something that was more reflective of um, the diversity, the rich diversity of the um, Te Moana Nui Kiwa that we all are connected through. So, um, so just in the same way that um, Te Moana Nui Kiwa or the Pacific Ocean connects um, all of our various islands around the Pacific, including Aotearoa, very similar does Kiwa act as a central PO or um, a network um, for our own internal uh, Māori and Pacifica staff, irrespective of where you sit in the firm. Um, you may already be familiar with similar networks in your own tertiary um, locations now, like for instance, um, Alpisa or Te Rako Ture or Whalenu um, or Te Taritaka Waenga Māori from AUT and um, University of Auckland. 
Um, but yeah, when I first joined KPMG in around 2017, there were about 10 Māori and Pacifica staff. That was in Auckland and about 15 of us nationally. Um, fast forward five years, um, we now have about 70 um, odd, um, between 40 and 70 um, Māori and Pacifica in, New uh, in Auckland and about 120 across New Zealand or Aotearoa. So we've had um, massive growth and um, the, the Kiwa network has largely been um, the key driver for this growth and um, uh, the growth in the network. Um, in the beginning, we kind of grew organically and didn't really, it was sort of just, oh yeah, um, I know someone or um, I've got a cousin who wants to work or who, who's interested in being an accountant or who wants to do some consulting. And so that's kind of how we brought people in um, through word of mouth. Um, but we now have a lot more structure around how our Kiwa um, pathway works and operates. Um, we have office leads and that's someone who's in each office who oversees um, the initiatives that we drive out of um, our, our offices. Um, respective officers. Um, and we also have kete leads, four kete leads. So we've got the Ponga lead, who, um, uh, which is uh, Carlos, who you would have heard from already. Um, the Ponga lead um, is largely, um, like largely oversees our recruitment processes. So um, if you are interested in um, joining KPMG and Kiwa, you'll probably want to be getting in touch with Carlos um, a lot um, over the next um, few months. So definitely keep his contact handy. Um, it's also um, the person who makes sure that Māori and Pacifica are um, um, afforded equal opportunities um, to join a firm like KPMG and that um, the, the barriers to entry are reduced or, or non-existent really. Um, we've also got the Manakatia role um, who focuses on making sure that our Māori and Pacifica staff when they do join that they may, they're made to feel welcome the minute that they step in through the door. Um, and um, so that we have events and um, it's kind of like the welcoming committee um, just to make people um, understand that, you know, uh, just to help people feel comfortable. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a daunting experience for a lot of our Māori and Pacifica people um, who are new because, I mean, not a lot of us have grown up in corporate environments like this. Our parents didn't always work in corporate organisations like this. And so it's something that's very different for us when we first join. And so our Manakatea lead um, helps you, you know, sort of feel comfortable and, and, and make sure that you've got access to the right people and the right um, resources once you arrive. Um, the Rumakina lead um, focuses on driving our internal cultural capability and competency, helping our, our um, uh, our colleagues understand um, what it means to be Māori and what it means to be Pacifica and to share our culture and share the, the uniqueness that we have as um, Māori and Pacifica. And then um, lastly, we have the Wetakia lead who um, helps us build and foster relationships externally facing. So um, anything that's really going to have help drive an impact for our Māori and Pacifica communities. Um, so that, that those are our leads. There's a lot more structure. Um, the growth has been significant and has not happened by accident, and it certainly won't happen by accident going forward. Um, the Kiwa and our Māori and Pacifica contingent are a large part and a very critical part of our greater vision for the firm going forward. Um, and um, the Kiwa network has helped our leadership and our partners really drive that um, that that purpose and value. Um, we share we share and celebrate cultures, we celebrate matariki, we celebrate all the language weeks um, and really anything to just help our people feel connected and to help to, like educate, I guess, or raise awareness with those who aren't from the islands or who are not Māori understand um, why we do what we do and why we are who we are. Um, but yeah, um, that's, that's pretty much um, Kiwa in a nutshell. And um, I will pass on to um, Tara, who I think is gonna give us a bit more information 
about what it's like to actually start in the firm and develop through that Kiwa pathway. Oh, sorry about the slides. Um, I'm not well. <laughs> um, my name's Tara. I'm an auditor in the Corporate and Enterprise Division. And I'm here to talk about the amazing opportunities that being involved with Kiwa at KPMG can provide you and a little bit about my personal pathway coming into KPMG last year as a grad. Um, Kiwa is a huge part of KPMG and offers us the opportunity to bring more of our own people along to a place Hello. Oh, cool, cool. Um, um, so Kiwa helps to bring more of our own people to KPMG. Um, and it, like the corporate world where we wouldn't think that we fit in, but we do. Um, and we also work towards serving our communities that we represent alongside the help of KPMG. Um, our Kiwa mentoring program was set up to provide a pathway, not just for KPMG, but corporate in general, to help young Māori and Pacific tertiary students decide where they want to go, what their purpose is, and how, they, how to achieve it. Um, the Kiwa mentoring program has grown year on year, and it's such an incredible program that I'm so proud to be a part of. Um, the first real exposure I had to the corporate world was being a mentee in the Kiwa Mentoring Program as a uni student. And before then, I felt, as I'm sure a lot of you may feel, that being Pacifica, the corporate world would feel isolating and I didn't know how I could be my true self in a place that I felt so underrepresented. But through Kiwa, I realised that we're all here and we're all valued, especially at KPMG. So this meant coming into work, feeling confident and with a sense of belonging, which is really special. Um, although I haven't been here long, um, continuing being involved with Kiwa at KPMG, I've been able to become a mentor, um, be in the Kiwa grad experience team and do presentations like these and meet so many different people from grads to partners who all work together to grow our diversity of thought and culture within the firm. These opportunities that I would have never experienced without Kiwa and KPMG. And it would be so cool to see you guys here too. Thank you. All this, this sort of preconceptions that I had about what it took to be in this place was actually like just myself building it up from, from this conception. But then when I joined, yeah, um, it, was, it was actually just people, you know, it's just normal people, day to day, who like, you know, have families, they, they have shared same values. You know, at KPMG we have a kind of like a background or a culture where everyone's here to do good work, promote New Zealand as is our, our motto, um, fueling New Zealand's prosperity. But it's not like we're dragging people down along the way. When one person succeeds, our whole team succeeds. And when I try to tell the boys that, you know, I'm either on the rugby field or the basketball field, you can't be Kobe Bryant all the time. So you're always going to need that, that support behind you, which I think we do have here. If there was one thing I would tell any young Māori or PI student is just to do it. That was the biggest barrier for me is I was too scared or I doubted myself. I didn't think I belonged there or I couldn't fit in. But I think if you just take a leap of faith, it'll all be worth it. I need a te tono, kia koutou mai Māori, mai uri o te mōra nui aki wa. あ、キャッチフィッチャーって I think my passion for uplifting Māori Pacific communities comes from my experience as a minority in the spaces that I've been in, both in school, in uni, and now also in the corporate workplace. So um, 
determined to change that. I guess the biggest impact KPMG has had on my family is in terms of financial support, being able to relieve financial stress from my parents and my grandparents. Um, To be honest, they had to be the most welcoming, um, friendliest people that I've met here at KPMG, and they're definitely my closest whānau. Some of them, um, yeah, some of them are my best friends these days. I just love KPMG because it's this environment where you can be truly unique, you can be authentically yourself, and they value that here. And so, I just know whoever comes into this business is going to be so welcome and so appreciated. And I'm excited about who we can get to join this, you know, whānau as well. So that was our lovely team um, explaining sort of some of the um, amazing ways that um, the KPMG whānau is just really welcomed. Um, so basically, I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of the process of what it's like um, when you want to apply to KPMG. So um, the first thing is to make sure that you do your research. Um, so you've done a perfect first step just by coming to this event. Um, so we just really urge you to go onto our LinkedIn our KPMG Careers website, um, on our Instagram, and just really find out who we are, what we do, um, and sort of just our values. Make sure that they really align with you. Um, and yeah, and then once you're happy with that, once you feel like that's um, definitely aligning with who you are, then we would love for you to apply online. Um, we actually don't ask for a cover letter, so we just ask that you answer a long form question. Um, and we do ask that you stick to sort of the, um, the word limit that we have. Um, really urge you to stick to that um, just because it makes the most um, of your time and just make sure that we just really get to know you as a person. Um, so that's kind of what that question um, relates to. Um, and then we also do ask for your unofficial transcript and your CV. Um, and then once you um, go through that step, then you will be sent video and online questions. Um, so the video assessment is just basically a few questions and we know that this can be a little bit awkward sometimes, um, but we just honestly want to see you feel comfortable in yourself and just answer the questions as best you can. Um, but the main thing is just to feel as relaxed as possible. Um, and then the online assessments relate to your verbal, numerical, um, situational judgment and your abstract thinking. Um, and so that is all measured with an online assessment that you can practice online. You can actually go online um, and search for these um, sort of assessments and be able to practice them before you actually do our one, um, just so that you set yourself up for the um, success that you want. And then once you have gone through that step, um, if you're successful in moving past that step, then you will be invited to either a one-on-one -on -one interview. Um, so that is more so for our smaller teams. We have one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews where you'll be able to meet our team. Um, uh, or if you are um, applying for a slightly bigger um, team, then you will be involved in a assessment day. Um, and this is a really fun day. We try to make it as relaxing and fun and um, inviting as possible. And it's just basically where you'll be able to work in a team um, and work on a little mini project um, for the day and just sort of um, yeah, again, answer the questions as best as you can. You will also have a one-on-one -on -one interview for this day as well. Um, and yeah, and just honestly do what you can. Just come in and feel as comfortable as you as you can be and um, just know that who you are is enough um, for us to, to be able to at least just see that and that's all that matters. Um, and then you will be sent your feedback. So either this will be in the form of a offer, which is exciting, um, or, you know, if you didn't get through um, after those steps, then we really don't want to deter you from um, applying again. We know so many, sorry, <laughs> we know so many of our um, team that have made it through um, the second time round, even if they didn't necessarily make it the first time. So definitely don't be discouraged if that does happen. Um, and we just wanted to also briefly go over some of the benefits of working at KPMG. Um, so we have a huge amount of hey, them. Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, Tina. I'm so sorry to cut you off. Um, we're just we're just going a little bit over time at the moment because um, you guys had it up until uh, three. Yeah. Um, no but so maybe just uh, 30 seconds just to wrap things up. Maybe direct students who are interested in all this because it's great info um, across maybe your website or 
Yep, exactly. So we, I was just going to say, we do actually have all of these on our website. So you can go to our KPMG Careers website and see all of these. Um, and then you'll also be able to um, find our questions, our frequently asked questions on there. Um, we have a list of them. And then we also will put in the um, email address that you can email us at for any extra questions in the chat box. Cool. Thanks, team. Thanks. Again, Thanks so much. apologies. I hate uh, being the... <laughs> The bad person and timekeeper. It's probably my nature to cut people. But yeah, appreciate uh, your time, uh, KPMG. Um, feel free to, as as Tina and the team said, to check check out their career sites. Well, they've also got a profile on Grand New Zealand.